Good morning everybody and welcome to wildlife and nature vlog number five um it's not the best of mornings uh, there's a bit of a breeze as you can probably see it's just spitting a little bit looks like it's been raining in the night it's damp underfoot um i did place the camera last night the wildlife camera um overlooking the grassy path by the dead area but I've no bait so um, I just put the camera just hoping that uh, the youngster came out and uh, did a bit of a wander around and a check and uh, if I've got any clips great if we haven't then never mind and um, when I did come out last night to place the camera I was just walking along this path and just in the field, I spotted that there was a buzzard just uh, stood on the grass, just stood by the fence. So I ducked down and I tried to move along to get a photograph, but it spotted me and off it glided. But yeah, that was the buzzard. So uh, so that was good. But there was no sign of the, of the kestrels at all last night. Nothing. Not even in the box. Right, we'll just uh, go and get the camera and then we'll, uh, then we'll carry on. If this is your first time to the channel and you enjoy videos like this to do with wildlife and nature, then please consider just clicking on the subscribe button down below and also clicking on the bell icon so you don't miss out on my next episode. Right, I'll just check the camera. And there is footage from last night of the cub, but there is also footage from the other night when I placed the camera in the woodland and I reported that there was no clips at all. Now when I downloaded them the other day, there wasn't any. For some reason they didn't download because they're still on the SD card. And I'll just check now. Because at the time, the other day, I didn't check from the actual wildlife camera. I just put them in straight into my PC, the card, SD card, and checked them that way. There was nothing there. So when we get back, we've two lots of clips to go through. And I believe there might be a hedgehog in the woodland. And, I think, a fox. So that's good. Uh, hmm, that's interesting. But, uh, but yeah, definitely clips from last night. No bait out. But definitely clips of the fox cub. All good. Right, that's a good start. Right, we're going to uh, carry on our walk. Today I brought the uh, Food for Free book by Collins Gem. I'm just going to see what's on offer for uh, July. And uh, just a jackdaw flying over. Um, yeah, see what's on offer for July. And uh, just show you a few sort of sections of the book. Right, let's carry on. This has to be the longest dandelion stalk I have ever seen. I think Jack might have planted that one. Nothing last night, nothing this morning. 
no sign whatsoever. I don't know how well you can hear that, but this is a spot where I often see the wrens and the young. You can probably hear the young wren. I can see it right in front of me on that little bush there. There's obviously a nest around here with a young family of wrens because they're all they're all in here they're always sat on here two or three of them you just see over there there's a bit of bramble moving but the shy little things there's another one There's two of that. It's not great for you to watch, but I can see them quite clearly. You're probably struggling. I'm sure you can hear them. There are a lot of wrens around here, not just here, but all around these woodlands and the bridleway and the meadows. There's the hawthorn. You can see there the berries aren't ready yet. These won't be ready till September. But you can also, uh, you can eat the fresh leaves of the hawthorn. All explained in there. More fungi appearing. There's loads starting to appear now all over the place. It's a gorgeous morning. It's only about six o'clock, but you can really start to feel it warming up. Um, I did go out last night just for a bit of a wander and I had a brief glimpse of one of the kestrels, but nowhere near the nest box. It was out in the meadows, just flying around. But uh, that was only one of them, but nothing, nothing in the box last night at all. I think they've gone. I think that's it now. You might see brief glimpses. But uh, yeah, it was good while it lasted. Hopefully we'll see them again soon. Maybe with their own young. So I did mention earlier about the uh, lost footage that we got from the other night. So uh, why don't we take a look?
when you start learning about wild edibles it can be quite daunting because uh, nobody wants to eat something that they're not 100 percent sure about when they get uh, poorly or sick so what i suggest is um just choose three obvious ones to start with um use the use the book just to identify them and read up about them and uh, yeah just pick three easy ones like garlic mustard uh, ramsons and maybe just the nettle uh, everybody knows the nettle and actually actually use them uh, pick some of the nettle leaves boil them up um, drink the liquid after it's boiled let it cool down have it cold have it have it warm and um, just try it in different ways and then uh, and then eat the leaves afterwards very uh, very nice actually um, all the stings just disappear and uh, it's a bit like I don't know sort of asparagus but it's nice with a bit of butter uh, a bit of salt or however you like it and uh, same with the ramsons and the garlic mustard just pick some of the really nice young leaves and just have them on a cheese butty and uh, next time you go out you'll see these plants you'll recognize them get to know them get to find where they come up what time of year and uh, when you're out just take a bit off have a bit of a nibble and then you move on to move on to another one then maybe like the uh, goosegrass uh, or cleavers as it's called or sticky weed as it's also called when you're a kid so yeah um, just build it up that way using the book and uh, just finding out what's in your particular area it's a really handy skill to have and uh, it's quite good when you're out with other people and you point something out and then you just uh, take a bit off and just start eating it they look at you like, wow what are you doing can you eat that well, yeah 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 and you just uh, start sharing your knowledge but uh, always be always be a hundred percent sure of what you're eating and what you're picking so uh, that's why you should start with some easy ones and uh, just build up your skills like that Okay, well that about wraps it up for today. Um, we talked about wild edibles using the Food for Free book. Um, so what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to tell me what your three favourite wild edibles are and just leave them in the comment section below. Um, like I mentioned in a previous video, um, we're going to be at a new location soon. So the next video you see will be at that new location and it is completely different from where we are uh, today and in the previous uh, videos so if you enjoyed today's then uh, please give us a thumbs up if you're new to the channel if you haven't yet subscribed click on the icon here or the one down below and as always don't forget to click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on my next video okay thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next episode but where will it be